when I'm in office, there'll be some change. The Lord moves it, but there he is hello guys welcome back to our channel today we are back again with another amazing tutorial this tutorial will be the mode of red dot redemption 2 here you can see uh, so we are going to show you how you can play this game with the simulator with keyboard and mouse how to set this up yeah so you can see uh, this is in almost 50 to 60 fps if you have a decent gpu it will get 60 fps yeah and decent and processor so yeah uh, we have we can skip the intro there is also a mode obviously and by the way now we are going to show you that how you can play this game with your keyboard and mouse yeah so here uh, i'm going to fully screen yeah so you can see that I'm moving uh, the camera around with mouse here you can see and I can run jump and I can yeah scroll here you can see so I can also I'd advise you to hold still partner. yeah I can do that and it is running in also full HD by the way you can do all of that and like all your you are playing like not controller this PC game I'm comfortable with not controller I'm comfortable with keyboard and mouse that's why I have setting this up so let's see how you can do that first of all we are going to without mode and panning the mouse off here in the emulation here you can see click and configure go to configure then control there you can see the lot of setting but don't need to worry just first of all select pro controller if it doesn't select default then select pro controller then here you can see I'm selected keyboard and mouse you need to select keyboard and mouse after that there are lots of option first of all you need to select this one after selecting this one there's something you will change to work so after selecting this one I'm not selecting because I have already done it you need to select this one uh, B2E mouse and keyboard so after that here you can see it's almost same as the same here pressed you need to uh, select control like here you can see click on it and select control and then caps modifier then Z button here mouse right button you can click here and then here you can click and right yeah mouse right button and mouse left you need to change almost this one and X E select C shift to run B and a space to jump yeah and everything is all okay after configuring your keyboard and mouse option select new and save as here you can see rdr1 i have selected then okay, apply click ok after that uh, you need to select the mouse panning option uh, i am in my keyboard i have selected f1 to mouse to work or not work here you can see you can go to again conf configure and then here you can see hide mouse on inactivity this one you need to select this one and uh, hotkeys here go to hotkeys I have toggle mouse panning or like here yeah, when mouse to work or mouse to use as a camera like Red Dead Redemption 2 game and here you can I am selecting F1 yeah uh, so uh, just select this one and change it to F1 then click apply so after that uh, you can click F1 to yeah here you can see I'm using mouse to move the camera and select F11 to full screen yeah it's work like a charm and it's a decent FPS by the way you can play it like yeah like uh, 50 to 60 FPS if you have a 6 core processor like I'm using this benchmark I'm recording this uh, like 
1650 with GTA 1650 and Core i5 9600K. Yeah, if you have a better than my GPU and better than my processor, then it will work like 60 FPS log. Yeah, now you can see I'm sh uh, it's almost 33 when there are very uh limited area i'm also recording it will get uh, i'm um, when i'm not recording it will uh, the fps boost will almost 45 to 50 or sometimes 60 fps because the emulator is using more than my cpu and also my recording also using the cpu that's why it's getting down fps if you are not recording you can get uh, with, like my configuration like uh, 30 to 30 40 fps yeah almost like this average 30 fps you can see here right corner in the uh, uh, left right corner in the game so that's it guys uh, if you love the game and if you helpful by the video please let me know in the comment section and create a thumbs up and subscribe my channel it will help me get more unique content like this and till next video goodbye